Hi everyone, so this is Sean. So this video is going to be about the Barracuda G9, um, which is quite a popular jacket. Apparently it was um, invented in 1937. Um, and Barracuda claims to have invented the, the Harrington jacket, though other companies do too, such as Grenfell. Um, it's a British company. And interestingly enough, I think they're owned by an Italian company. So when I ordered this, it came from Italy, but it was made in Britain, which is a bit strange. But yeah, I mean, it's it's it was called the Harrington because a character named Harrington played by, what's his name, Ryan O'Neill in the, the sitcom Peyton Place, War One, and it's been worn by a host of celebrities. So obviously Elvis Presley on the screen, here's Daniel Craig, um, it's a golf jacket, apparently the G stands for golf, Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, Elvis, Steve McQueen's really famous for wearing one, and I think it's kind of one of those blank canvas things, you know, uh, pretty much anybody could wear this jacket, though, uh, and it, and it does range from everyone to um, really, really unhip, kind of unstylish uh, people to, to very, very cool people from, from all ends of the spectrum. So obviously you've got you know Frank Sinatra here, and James Dean, Elvis. They're all quite different, but they all pull off the jacket equally well. Um, so I bought this jacket um, about a year, maybe two ago. And um, I was... I was as always, I was thinking, well, you know, what size do I get? Um, and I was unsure. I normally take a 40. And I was torn between a, a 40 and a 38. I eventually did opt for for a 40. Um, and just see what you think when you when you see it on. Um, so in terms of this jacket, it's kind of rain repellent. It's uh, Cool Max, they call it, which is cool. It's got a tartan lining. And it's a cotton polyester blend. Um, I must admit, when it, when it came, I was a bit like disappointed. Um, obligatory mask here. Um, this is pretty expensive jacket. It's like three hundred pounds, and I don't know whether it feels like a three hundred pound jacket. Um, you know, you could buy because this is kind of a modish jacket. So obviously, alternatives, things like Fred Perry and um, Ralph Lauren, I guess, because you know I like Ivy style, and the Ivy style seems to have adopted this. The pockets, by the way, I never put anything in the pockets. It's the least practical jacket in the world. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. If you if you want the historical jacket, you've got to pay for it. So this is the fetching uh, model model in it. So like I said, this is a forty, and I think it's quite snug. It's it's quite small forty. Um, I am about twelve stone, twelve pounds, five eleven and medium build I guess and you know it fits me but I think I could have got a 42 I think and I know that some people you know you'll see Stephen Cream wearing one and he wears it looser than, than what I would I like things fitted but I don't know I don't, I don't this is borderline I think it's not too small but it, it is very fitted um so yeah just a very really short review I think it may be helpful for some people thanks very much for watching bye bye